giving birth to the next generation can be an extreme event for mothers. This goes for humans, but also animals. However, your mom isn't the only one on this earth who went through pain to bring you into this world. In fact, there are animals that have a worse childbirth than humans. Octopodes According to the World Health Organization, over 800 women die from preventable causes related to pregnancy and childbirth every day. Sounds terrifying, but if you compare that to octopuses, you'd prefer your chances with human childbirth for sure. Octopuses are semelparous animals, which means they reproduce once and then they die. Sounds strange, right? This is basically how it goes down. First, the octopus mother finds a safe place under rocks of corals to lay her eggs. After she lays her eggs, she devotes the final leg of her life to making sure her baby octopuses stand a chance. This means that for 8 to 53 months, depending on type of species, the mother will care for her eggs until they hatch. During the months or years that follow egg laying, an octomom's sole purpose becomes protecting those babies as they develop. She will not leave the eggs, not even for hunting. When food wanders by, she may or may not catch it, but she mainly starves while constantly blowing water across the eggs. In the final stage, the octopus has to resort to cruel methods. First, she begins eating the limbs she isn't using. Then, she will begin peeling off her own skin with her remaining arms. She will slowly eat as much of herself as she dares while still watching the eggs. Only when the eggs have hatched, she will give in and die. Half consumed by herself and half starved, her job is now done. That's an extreme way of giving birth with 100% chance of dying. Kiwis. This next animal doesn't die from childbirth, but it sure goes through a lot to push out the next generation. The kiwi is known for being small, cute, and flightless. But few know the fact that the kiwi's egg occupies up to 25% of its mother's body, making it the largest egg proportional to body size of any bird in the world. Kiwi birth is equivalent to a human giving birth to a four-year-old child. That's three times the size of the average human newborn. Ouch! The fuzzy belly of a pregnant kiwi mother will grow so big that eventually it'll drag on the ground and she'll have to fast for the last few days of her pregnancy. She can't move well and there won't be any room for food. On the plus side, the kiwi baby is so big that the baby is fairly developed by the time it hatches. This way of reproducing actually resembles mammals more than birds. Mammals often give birth to babies that are largely self-sufficient, whereas bird babies often are fragile balls of fluff and bones. Kiwi babies, on the contrary, pop out mostly ready to run around and evade predators on their own. That's pretty smart. Hyenas Spotted hyena births are not for the faint of heart. Females have phallic-like genitalia, which is also known as a pseudopenis, this is essentially the clitoris, which extends seven inches from the body during pregnancy and works as the birth canal. Kay Holkamp, professor in biology, describes it as giving birth through a penis. The spotted hyena indeed has a strange anatomy, but what makes it worse is that the birth canal is just an inch in diameter. A two-pound pup can rip through the tissue as it exits the mother, making it extremely painful for both the mother and child. Often, it gets so bad to the point where the false penis gets split in half, and the baby has a 60% chance of suffocating on the way out. Poor mom can die from these rips, as is evidenced by the high death rate among first-time hyena mothers. In fact, about 15% of first-time mothers die giving birth. Porcupines for the porcupines, the challenge is not a crazy large baby or small birth canal. As you know, a porcupine is equipped with sharp spines, which protect it from predators. But you see, baby porcupines, called porcupets, aren't hairless like most rodent newborns. These guys are born fully quilled. 
Normally, this isn't a problem for mom, since the quills are soft at birth and gradually harden over the first few hours after being exposed to air. However, they still make up an extreme scenario when the baby is born bottom first. Dangerous complications can arise when the porcupets are facing the wrong direction because their quills can get caught in the birth canal on the way out. That's it for today's video. Hope you learned something new, and remember to subscribe to see future content from us in the future.